Meine Damen und Herren, bitte begrüßen Sie Luca De Meo, Vorstand Marketing und Vertrieb Audi AG. Liebe Gäste, Guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Audi. Welcome to Audi. Audi has always felt completely at home in Switzerland. Roads with panoramic views crossing mountainous countryside. It's splendid here. Audi really is in its element. If you were in the Alps this year, you will have noticed that from Davos to Verbier, we also call it the land of Quattro. And the products you'll be seeing today are to a certain extent a declaration of love to the steep pass roads, the tight bends and high performance. Because in fact, in fact it all began here at the Geneva Motor Show many, many years ago. In 1980, it was here where we had a legendary debut, that of the Audi Quattro. And since then, we have focused Vorsprung durch Technik on each and every segment. And our two newcomers here in 2014 are, to our mind, the best example of this. First of all, the Audi S1. No other small car has so much technical sophistication. 231 horsepower, 5.8 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. And of course, quattro drive for real grip. In the middle of March, we'll be going on our test drive. I think it's going, we'll be in Sweden there, yes. And we'll also have along our Audi S3 Cabriolet. Snow, cold ice for a convertible with quattro and 300 horsepower. That's seriously fun. And Rachel Frey, the fastest woman in Switzerland, can confirm that to you, I believe. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we drive cabriolets in the winter because we adopt different paths than others, and we do the very same thing with Audi Ultra. This year, we're going to be introducing Ultra models into other core model series, and the Ultra models are ultra economical, ultra light, and they offer full performance and nevertheless outstanding CO2 figures. And this efficiency spearhead ranges from the Audi A3 Ultra with fuel consumption of 3.2 liters of diesel, 85 grams of CO2, that's 188 Imperial MPG, 156 US MPG, and it all goes all the way on through to the Audi A6 Ultra with 4.4 liters of consumption, 114 grams of CO2 at 190 horsepower. And what we are doing with these cars is something we're implementing in our entire organization with our new philosophy, better all the time, more efficient all the time. And our objective is CO2 leadership at the premium level. That's Forsprung Dork Technik. And that's what you'll be seeing with the next star here. Thank you. When Leidenschaft und Perfektion sich vereinen, if, Leiden, if pa passion and perfection come together, if revolutionary design meets supreme technology, then legends are born. 1995, Audi presents the TT for the very first time as a concept car. 1998, the concept car becomes a production car. Functionality in a brand new design language and unprecedented driving dynamics. The TT becomes the favorite sports car in its class. 2006, Audi presents the second generation, the Mark II TT. A powerful package, lighter than its predecessor, the ideal foundation for racing. A technology innovator in this car, for the first time we test piloted driving. Back then it was science fiction, soon it will be in production cars. And today, today we are presenting the new TT. 
Evolution im Design. Evolutionary Design. Classic styling with its new interpretation of it. Revolutionary in its technology. New interior, interior for the first time with a virtual cockpit. Numerous details which make life easier for the occupants. Systematic lightweight design. 50 kilograms less weight. Matrix LED headlights. Intelligent and unique. When revolutionary design meets supreme technology, then legends are born. Meine Damen und Herren, Ladies bitte and begrüßen Sie Rupert Stadler, Vorstandsvorsitzender der Audi AG. Of Management of Audi AG. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I too would like to bid you a very warm welcome. The TT has always represented the fascination of the four rings and innovation, emotion, and progressive thinking. It was an Audi TTS, which in 2010 was the first car in the world to climb the Pikes Peak in the Rocky Mountains without a driver. Piloted driving will be implemented by Audi step by step in production cars. In addition to electric traction in cars, this will be one of the key technologies for this decade. We are continuing to work full speed ahead at Audi on our innovation pathway. In the next five years alone, we will be investing some 22 billion euros, and 70% of that sum will go straight into new products, innovations, and technologies. As a pioneer, we find and define trends early. For instance, digitization. We're making the car the biggest mobile device. We have been at the Consumer Electronic Show in Las Vegas for many years, as you know. And in January, our fully digital cockpit in the new Audi TT garnered incredible accolades. It makes our sports cars a real high-tech experience, progressive or classic. The cockpit can be programmed for each individual car, customized, communication, infotainment and navigation. This is provided by Audi Connect. And with LTE, the fastest mobile transmission standard, Audi Connect can also transfer huge quantities of data. Our Innovation potential at Audi can be experienced holistically in our products, in our models, and with very unusual sales formats. Exactly one month ago, we had the inauguration of the Audi City in Berlin, a fully digital cyber store. So following London and Beijing, we now have Berlin, which provides the entire Audi range in the middle of Germany's capital. You can experience there. So far, we've produced a half a million TTs, mostly in Germany. And the third generation of the TT will be built entirely in our new fully-fledged factory in Hungary. Ladies and gentlemen, the Audi TT symbolizes the rise of the four rings to become a design brand in innovation and technology leader and an international player. So, let's hand over to the new Audi TT.
Meine Damen und Herren, bitte begrüßen Sie Dr. Ulrich Hackenberg, Vorstand Technische Entwicklung Audi AG. Ja, guten Morgen, meine Good morning, Damen und Herren. ladies and gentlemen. Da sind Sie. There they are, our new high-performance sports cars on Team Audi, the new Audi TT and the Audi TTS. At first glance, you can recognize the characteristics, the character of the first TT. Its striking design is timeless and it makes it unmistakable, as are very few cars in the current day and age. Just remember the Volkswagen Beetle or the Porsche 911. When we at Audi presented the first TT in 1995, people said it's a milestone in automotive design. We had developed the characteristics in terms of design on a very small team of designers and development engineers in just four weeks. The lean and powerful body and the roof on top of it form the basic architecture of the TT. And this DNA can also be seen in the new generation. But the TT3 is even sportier now. It has a tauter roof line, a longer wheelbase, shorter overhangs. And here you see the high performance gen genetic makeup of the Audi R8 even, and the Audi TT is a real sports car. The powerful 2.0-liter TFSI engine kicks out 230 horsepower. The TTS is even more taut visually. It stands for sportiness on a completely new plane. The TTS pumps out 310 horsepower with torque of 380 newton meters, and it provides more power with less CO2 emissions because sportiness is combined with efficiency in the Audi TT. It's as much as 50 kilograms lighter. As a TDI, it emits just 110 grams of CO2 per kilometer, making it a benchmark amongst the competition. The Quattro drive system provides this power with outstanding traction. Ideal distribution of force between the front and the rear axle comes from the electrohydraulically controlled multi-plate clutch. It gives you perfectly balanced handling. With the dynamic mode from drive select, the driver can have even edgier driving. You can even do a little bit of overdrive. And the TT therefore stands for dynamism, design, and high tech. And this is a profile that we have systematically Systematically evolved. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're presenting another global debut for you too, and we'll have that car come on stage now. Yeah, that is there. Yes, there it is, the Audi TT Quattro Sport concept. It's been designed to thrill our dyed-in-the-wool fans for our TTs. Its club sport character makes this car, this TT, the perfect car for circuits. In the side of it, we have the most recent engine developed by our Audi engineers. We've got the 2.0-liter TFSI that has been systematically evolved, and we have been refining it to perfection. The result is a high-performance four-cylinder engine with 420 horsepower, which is 210 horsepower per liter, more than in the Audi Le Mans winning car in 2011. This supreme high-power TFSE expertise combines the show uh, is combined in the show car with Audi lightweight technology. So reduced to a minimum, we can say that the Audi TT Quattro Sports concept has a power to weight ratio of just 2.74 kilograms per horsepower. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all of the members of the TT family up here now. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being at the Audi press conference. We'd now like to invite you to come up on stage and have a hands-on look at the cars and take pictures of them too.